Hello YouTube, Astro Dad here. Um, a while ago I did a video with uh, Ipsy basically said, this is the problem, found the problem. And that was it, no commentary, no use to anybody. Presuming that everyone would just be able to see, no one was wrong. So uh, I'll make a little video to try and help people understand um, the importance of uh, polar alignment and the polar storm. Uh, it's um, April, it's been a beautiful day, it's now freezing cold, I'm full of cold, so that's why I'm dressed up like an Eskimo. But uh, I'll, I'll do a quick video here just to show you um, what the problem was. Cheers. So this mount is what you call an equatorial mount. Now the re this is because the mount rotates counter to Earth's rotation along the equator. So this allows the, your camera, your telescope, to stay fixed on a star, on a planet, whatever, on a target. And whilst Earth's rotating away, this counters it. So you can stay fixed for longer, take longer exposures. Now, on my previous video, you'll see that the scope was all over the place. Now, I'll try and get a picture looking through it. Uh, and as you can see there now, as I rotate it, it rotates fixed on one point. See, there's not wobbling there at all. It, stay, it basically rotates dead on um, to, the, to whatever your point's at. Yeah, completely aligned. Now there's some alignment screws in here you have to tighten up until you get it right. It's a real pain in the ass job. And then in here as well I've also put a thick o-ring just in there. Just packs it out a bit more, keeps it tight. So if you do one of these mounts, this is an EQ5 mount, I would definitely recommend sticking an o-ring in there uh, just to pack it out. But that's it basically. Um, now that if that scope's off, then you think you're pointing at the North Star, you're uh, setting your mount to neutral then and you're not, you, you misalign, so your whole night's tracking all your alignment, it's all gonna be out. So that, that was the reason behind it. So yeah, cheers everybody, and don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Bye. So just to wrap the video up, um, in a summary, summary really, um, the polar scope, well, yes, it's important to get your polar alignment correct, it's also important that your polar scope itself has to be aligned. Now, uh, as you saw there in the video, I'm rotating it and I'm saying that it's rotating fixed on one point, but what you're best doing is in the daytime, align it to a branch on a tree. Excuse me. Whew, that's the beer. The gassy beer. Uh, I did it on a a house down the street on the chimney and just kept rotating it and adjusting those adjustment screws ever so slightly until it's fixed and rotate on one point once that's done then you can set it up before you do anything for the night level your mount that's really important as well and then just download the polaris app free on android ios then whatever time of night it is will tell you whereabouts polaris should be so then what you know you, you then setting it up you mount you zero in on that spot and it's going to rotate on that one fixed point then whereas if previously when my mount was misaligned i think i'm pointing at you know say for example 12 o'clock polaris when in reality i'm over here somewhere so you just you 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 you, you fixed point your you baseline you new you know you've you neutral is off so you, your whole night's gonna be out so I, I i lost three nights i think uh i lost three nights imaging because i thought my pole alignment's done it's all sweet and in reality uh it's miles out uh, and I, I couldn't figure out why and uh it never occurred to me that i bought this new mount thinking that the the polar scope would be good and it's only when i've fixed on a chimney rotated the you know the right ascension you know 180 degrees and it's it's doing this it's like a banana as you saw in the video my, my very first video on here whilst it was a poor video it does serve a purpose and it shows you how how far out it was how much it was rattling around inside so uh to summarize check it rotates on one fixed point and also consider the uh the the, the plumber seal the o-ring seal just a rubber o-ring um, 
I don't know, like five mil thick, just to pack out uh, that scope. It removes any 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 the slight. It does have a, it's, it's a cheap, a cheap polar scope. So it just takes away that little bit of uh, free movement in there as well. So that's it. Uh, cheers for watching. Hope I'm now explained a little bit better. If not, pop a question down below. I'll try and answer it. I'm just an amateur though, so. Uh, but there's there's plenty of other resources online. I was trying to share the mistakes I'm making so that you don't. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot. Um, and thanks for watching and sticking with me. Cheers, guys. See you later and cheers.